step by step level 4 lesson number 2 pencil shading use 6p pencil to shade the given object do you know generally why do we shade the objects it's just a simple thing shading is used to give a 3d look to any object it can be a pencil shade or it can be a color shade so here one object is given a cuboid showing the light source from at the corner right top corner And the shadow is opposite side. Example is given here: a cuboid with a baseline. Above the baseline, we call this part as background, and below the baseline, we call it as foreground. The light is placed here. The light source may reach this part here to this one, as well as this part. But this face is completely opposite to the light. Let's see an example. I have an object here, a cube. I want to show you the demonstration. By using a cube, all the light reaches the particular faces on the cube or a cube bytes. If I tilt this one, my light source is from behind. This part is bright. This one is the dark. Observe the difference between these two shades. It's a bright and it's a darker one. So see if I show you more faces. I'm just tilting this one. See here, light is reaching this face as well as. This face, but not this one. This opposite to the light, so it is dark. If I tilt this side, we can see the slight difference here. This face is completely bright, and then this is opposite to the light, so it is dark. And I tilt more, like this. See this one. Now, these two faces are bright. But this one is a darker one. If I turn it towards the light source, now it became the bright one. These two faces became dark. So in everyday life, we have to observe how the light source is reaching on the objects and how the shades are forming. Whether it's right, whether it's a bright light or a dark, everything need to be observed to do well. with our drawing life let's go on with shading use a 6b pencil to shade the given object i have different drawing pencils here different grades of pencils let's take a 6b i'm taking a 6b pencil keep your pencil in under palm position like how how you hold a knife not like in pen position it's called pen position when you hold that pencil like this it's called under palm position hold a pencil like this and start shading at this part light is reaching this face as well as this one but not this one so let us shade it into a darker one keep your pencil as less slanted as possible to the surface of the sheet and start moving your pencil to form a shade it's called under palm position carefully shade near the lines here i mean at this line or even you cross these lines you can erase it afterwards you do not worry about this one this part carefully shade at the top edge to get the same kind of pressure to get same kind of shade if you leave your pressure it becomes light like this i'm leaving my pressure so it became light but we want it same shade Let's see about the shadow. The shadow part here. How to shade? Where the shadow forms actually? So here I have the same example. I'm keeping here. My light source is from behind. I mean towards this side. Shadow formed here. See? If I turn this one particularly, now shadow is here from both the sides. So I have like a plenty of lighting here. So the shadow is very short here. 
in the same way the light source is from this way the shadow will be in the opposite direction that means here let us share this one I am holding my pencil in the same way under one position resting my finger to give support If you have any pencil lines out of these borders, you can take a razor and edit those parts. That's it from lesson number two. Let's sign off.